Okay, so I wanted to talk regarding this menu bar a little bit more in depth. Again, when it comes to configurations, I already basically mentioned this and uh, you know broke this down for you, which is basically whenever you're looking at the configuration to change anything, the default settings are 99% of what you really need. The only time that you're going to change things are if you want the spider to go about in a different manner or behave differently robots.txt if you want it basically to ignore it so you're just changing things that shouldn't actually be changed inside of here most of the time uh, same with these URL rewritings what to include and exclude how fast you should crawl the website the default crawl is safe for almost every website so I wouldn't really increase this too much or really need to decrease it um, same thing here if you have any custom settings or custom extractions you want or terms to search for if you want to use a proxy, if you want to reset the a, uh, user interface, if you have any API access, this is where you enter all of this detail in, if you want to authenticate it, etc. Um, there's different types of modes, which I'll cover very shortly um, in a little bit. These are the spider list and SERP. The bulk export, there seems like there's a lot of options in here, in links, out links, anchor text, images, screenshots, all this and that. And look at all of these great things you can choose. There's actually only three between the bulk export and the reports that you really need to pull out in order to basically improve your website in almost every fashion. And those things are going to be bulk export, all in links, and that gets uh, all of your terms inside of here. Oh, let me quickly pull up this, uh, this Excel sheet, get my face out of here. And what this will end up doing <clears throat> is showing all of the different types of links, where they go to, um, any destinations uh, in terms of, hey, this tag or this link or this, etc. goes over here. Whoops, my apologies. This just gives you the destination and any text that may come through. The main thing that you're going to get from this, though, is your status code updates. And your status code updates are really going to be finding out where your 404 errors are. So here, here's all your 404 errors, quite a number. So this is what we're going to be working on focusing, uh, focusing to fix. So all of these URLs right here are going to be obviously something that we look inside of and try and figure out how we can move these 404s away. I'm sorry, these uh, 404s to a 301. Again, I'll show you how to do a lot of this shortly. So these are all your in links. The next thing that you're going to want to do is going to go to reports and then your crawl overview. And this is your basic overview of everything that you've gotten. Um, it's very generic. Here you see everything. It's basically all of those tabs divvied up into each different section that makes sense and uh, is appropriate. So that's the crawl overview. Then the other thing that you're going to also have here is going to be your SERP summary. And your SERP summary is really all of this information that you see right here. Let me quickly go over to that. And that's going to be your URL, your title, the length of that, the pixel length, the description, the length of that, the pixel length of that as well. So that's going to hold basically all of the information in regards to what you need to optimize for your title and your meta descriptions, which are the most important. Now, if you want to download any of this additional stuff, um, you know, the meta keywords, the H1s, the H2s, etc., that can be valuable. That's more of an in-depth thing. Um, if that's the case, then all you're going to simply do come over here export you're gonna export everything so that's a full internal gonna quickly come over here get that and then that'll export everything that you see here so this is a little bit overwhelming for most clients I find but if they pay it a small amount like I said something under 50 bucks this is what I usually give them Otherwise, I break this up into a few different divvied up portions, and maybe I'll also include this as well. So that way we know really what to go about and start fixing. Um, and from here, 
Again, these three reports, all your in-links, your crawl overview, and your SERP summary will give you everything that you need to start getting your titles, your descriptions, and your keywords focused properly. Of course, downloading the entire internal, this is what I use as basically a blueprint. Um, I will have one, which is an uh, internal, you know, uh, total scan is what I'll call it basically, and a before, and then I'll work on the after. So that way they see what was and what work I have done. You need to always do that, you know, a snapshot of before and after. And just let them know this is what everything was before, and now I'm working on this one that's after, and here's the things that we need to copy and paste in, and there was a lot of work and optimization done. So it's really in, uh, inexpensive and uh, really easy to do when you optimize everything from inside here, and then you just hire someone like a virtual assistant to do the rest for you manually. Because once you get in manually, it takes a little bit of time, but it's much less when you do it through an Excel sheet just like this. So that's basically all you're going to really need for your, uh, your reporting. And again, if you want any other types of reporting here, you can also go inside of this and download whatever you need. Again, and it works for each individual one. You're literally exporting certain either columns or you're exporting all of it. But again, the internal and the external literally contain all of this data, just all in one big heap though. So that's what that is. Now, I also want to introduce the sitemaps. And this is how you literally create a sitemap for yourself. You basically don't want to check any of these because no index pages, they're no indexed for a reason. Um, include canonical canonicalized that could end up looking like duplicate content if you have a www and a non www right? like i said either go to one or the other so that they funnel um, otherwise you're dipping up your seo and you're losing half of your 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 rankings basically because of that that one change um, don't include page paginated my apologies paginated paginated uh, urls i do like to include pdfs not everyone suggests it the reason I do it is because it's naturally going to be found as um, external content, but I like to add, especially if you're a PDF prone website, if you don't have a lot of PDFs, you know, training manuals or things like that, then don't include PDFs. Or if you have PDF products, do not include PDFs. But otherwise, I like to include PDFs because I um, have one side of my website that's literally all the PDFs are free. And then I'll have a subdomain where all my PDFs are the paid versions of whatever I'm trying to sell people. So I like to do it. It's a preference for you. If you sell things that are in a PDF form on your website, do not check that. Um, everything else around here is literally made so that it is coming by default, ready and to good to go out the box. So we're just going to click next. It does that. We click save. It does that we're done and now we have a sitemap and we just simply upload this into our server we also want to create an image sitemap as well same thing goes here we don't want to check any of these all of this comes out by default naturally good um, if there's any no index images the reason behind that would probably be you have something secret uh, maybe a password or some information or it may be a million different things but you don't want those probably indexed for a reason, so don't have check that box. Again, you can just go as is, default. Now you have an image sitemap. This image sitemap and normal sitemap are two things that Google really wants. And the normal sitemap is to get indexed inside of Google Organic. The image sitemap is to get indexed inside of Google Images, which is a search engine that gets a buttload of traffic. But Google and other people, for some reason, never talk about this. I get like a couple thousand searches a month just for my images because they're custom made images for me. Um, you know, I don't pay much more than a buck or two for each image. And I just pop them into different posts with different alt tags. So when people search those things inside the uh, Google image search engine, they find me. They click on that. They visit my website. That's it done deal and we go from there so I do enjoy obviously being able to make those sitemaps with the click of a button like that and you're done here of course is where you're entering your license any help that you need user support FAQs a guide on anything that you're not sure about all inside of there 
So that's about everything that you need to know in regards to exporting and using uh, that top menu bar up there. But the exports are very easy, very simple. Usually you're just going to go to internal export just like that and you're done.